what you're currently looking at is a lake that was formed as a result of mining activities during the Nigerian slave trade or better still the British colonial era in Nigeria but now turned into a beautiful tourist attraction and also a tourist hub called Refield Holiday Resort. And in today's adventure, myself and my friend Wawnenche, who also is a YouTuber, traveled all the way from Lagos, Western Nigeria to come discover the stunning history and what remains of it. It's government owned. Yeah, but now it's private. It's a private organization. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. That's why it's called okay. for now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you. Let us go and yeah. Let's go. 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 let us go let us go it came as a result of mining activities during the colonial era and during this Nigerian slave trade. It wonders me how clear and blue this water looks like from the view here. I have not seen water like this anywhere else in Nigeria. I felt so because I think the water comes directly from the earth so it's so clean and pure. And also families do come here to relax and people do come here to have fun. If you really want to have fun, you have to come here in groups or with your team. Nice hideout for young couple. Yeah. So, uh, welcome back, guys. Um, today we are at Refu Resort, one of the um, resorts in just northern Nigeria. As you can see, a lot of people are having fun, and I'm here with my brother, um, wow. Wow. So, guys, so um, this place so far, I'm seeing that it's a cool place to relax chill and as you can see you will see people oh. they're having their phone taking their pictures and do you know that this place the water here is actually crystal clear although i was told that the water is came as a result of mining but the water is still very crystal clear which makes me see a lot of potential in this place like if this place will be managed properly and uh, invested in because most of the time it's invest if this place will be invested in there is a lot of potential. This this place can actually be turned to a beach and make it a man-made beach that people can actually come and do a lot of activities. There are there are many places like this in Nigeria that generate a lot of fun both for the owners because I don't know whether it's a private sector or a government sector. If you invest in this place, it will definitely give you that in which you are looking for. But Nevertheless, this is actually a nice place to relax. If you need a place to come and chill, I feel like in Joss, this is a very cool place. Yes, yeah, so to... that, that's very true. So basically what they have here, they don't really have a lot. As we said, it's kind of underdeveloped, that's the truth. But um, they just have a restaurant and then there's boat ride. We'll yes. soon go for a boat ride and then uh, you can see people having fun, <laughs> yes, <laughs> taking yeah. pictures with the water yes, and yes. But, just but having the thing fun. Is, uh, the, what I feel like, uh, mm. currently, this kind of place now, if you want to make it less boring, mm. you come with your own team. If you come here alone, you mm. understand? Mm. You might find it very boring, boring because true. there is nothing much you can do. Yeah. But if you come like these people now, they find their own activities, activities. you understand? <laughs> do your own thing and make yourself yeah, that's happy. If you come in group, you you have you yes. have more fun and all. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. 
so it's like a place for picnic um, yeah uh maybe birthday parties anything but as long as you're coming with people people yeah you can have fun <laughs> yes yes yeah, true. so we'll show you some activities as we have those activities too so hope you enjoy and come here too to have fun like this Going to the boat. <laughs> yeah. So guys, we were doing our boat riding and we also saw these beautiful couples who had finished boat riding also and it was so amazing. I have seen videos of South Africa and Tanzania and many other places in Africa but the difference is they have lots more activities happening around the water and they have lots of building and people around the water. The question I ask myself is why is this place different from here? After enjoying the cool weather here, I began to hope and believe that one day this place would be a more tourist hub in Nigeria and for Africa generally. As someone who loves tourism and traveling, I hope this place gets the right development and the people with the right vision to make this place a very beautiful and probably a finer place. There are a lot of underdeveloped places in Nigeria. And I believe the government or the right people can come together to develop such places and make Nigeria a very beautiful place for people to visit. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and please like the videos you just watch and so you can check out some other videos and also you can check out my friend's youtube channel from Nenche. he also create videos just like myself you can watch his video and also subscribe to his youtube channel please and also follow me on instagram where i drop behind the scenes of most of the videos and also if you can reach out to me directly if you have any question i will see you in my next video peace out guys